morning everybody down here at Stockport Golf Club south of Manchester for episode number seven of Break 75. It's a beautiful golf course this. It's, um, it's redemption time today. The last couple of rounds haven't been my finest at JCB and Celtic Manor. Both very testing championship golf courses. I'm going to take it easy today. Now I'm playing today with special guest Hannah Davis who is a PJ golf professional and actually coaches local to here just at Adlington down the road. So hopefully she'll be a good support for this episode of Break 75. Let's get out there. Let's see if we can burn it up. Look at this. I mean, this is stunning, Hannah, is Beautiful. it not? Beautiful, what a day. Right, golf course, it's not the longest in the world today. 6,500 yards off the tee we're playing off today, par 71. Um, but it, it's a bit more tree-lined, a little bit more established. So accuracy is gonna be key. This might come out not as often today, However, I'm saying all that, driver's out on the first. Right, play well, Hannah. Nice. I need this thing to work today. Ah. I think it's good to start off with a bogey sometimes. You know, it like settles the nerves, it gets, you, it gets the bad shot out of the way. I'm not gonna let it affect me today. There's plenty of birdie opportunities on this course. Let's go, Ooh, let's go, bounce back ability. <laughs> back to level par. That will do. Very go, Hannah. Very nice. Tell you what, one more roll back and that would have ended up 50 yards down the fairway. Luckily it's clung on. Oh, another roll. One more roll than that was in. I don't, I don't want to say that is literally perfect. Feeling good today. Feeling relaxed. Feeling in control. Feeling happy. Oh, it's nice. Nice company. Nice golf course. Lovely day. Golf's feeling okay so far. Let's just hope. Let's let may it continue. Let's make it continue. Let's put a good one together today. Oh. How do you miss that green, Rick? How do you miss that green? Enjoy me. There is the pen. Oh lovely. Go in. Wow. Get inside that, eh? <laughs> A couple of golf pros, <laughs> just doing what we do, missing the greens and <laughs> playing good bunker shot. Okay, this par five is one of the, well, the easiest par five on the golf course, and I've put it in a fairway bunker annoyingly. I'm far enough back from the lip, I'm 230 yards out. Now I could lay up. Yeah, I could. But I'm not gonna do. Might be a mistake. I might look back at this moment in time and go, that's the point where it went wrong today, but positive vibes. I reckon I can smash one close. Or at least get out of the bunker. Oh, it's out. And it's drawing and it's tracking. We are close to the front edge. We're close. Not quite there, but not bad. Okay, so we got to hear out the bunker. Big sloping put this. I need to almost aim at Hannah's ball and let it swing round. Get in. <laughs> At least I gave it a chance. So I think Rick could break the 75 today. I think he's playing well, just needs to hold a few more putts. 
Okay, seventh hold. It's a little bit of a drivable par four, but it gets super, super narrow and tight. I think it's a good opportunity. Oh, you're telling me to go for it? <laughs> I'm there with my, my hand on my three iron, and you're telling me to go for it. Get lucky. I know that is perfect. This is a bit of the theme of the day. I've not hit my greatest tee shot there after trying to lay up, but I've avoided trouble. If I can do that for the rest of the round, I'll be happy. Sometimes it bounces the wrong way, but so far today it's bounced the right way, which is always good. Turns up nicely. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rapid. It's okay. And strike not quite there, but the results okay. Oh, silly mistake. That could be very good. The series so far is up to episode number seven. This is the best and most realistic chance of the first eagle of Break 75 series. If it driver three were to hear, this is for an eagle to finish the ninth, and one over par at the moment. Be amazing to not listen. Right, come on. Let's roll her in. Oh, bro, come on, it's gone a long way fast. <laughs> what are you doing? Nice birdie to finish the front nine. Level par. Come on, let's get it going back nine now. Great drive. This is what happens when you play with Hannah. Hannah's on my phone to get an Instagram. Great ball. There's one rule in golf that should change. If you find yourself in a divot in a fairway, you should be able to move it. I hit the best drive dead straight down the fairway, in a divot, lost control. Hit it on the green, but I'm miles away. I should have been closer. Touch, baby elephant. This hole, it's a par five. It is, it's a dog leg, but okay. literally it's probably, it's, if it's not 90 degree, it might even be more. <laughs> so it goes this way and then it sharply swings right. So the light, I mean, you just gotta play aggressive. It's just having that trust. Kick nice. going. We're putting for eagle. That's all I can ask. Putting for eagle. Now before I take this putt, there's one thing I learned from Jack last week at Celtic Manor. This might be a putt for eagle, but it doesn't mean it's an eagle putt. Let's try and get it close at least. Oh, I wanted to be a little bit closer than that. Nice. Okay, I'm slightly blocked out by this tree, but I've got a small window. I've just got a little pitching wedge in. Bar it just coming up a little bit short of the flag, I couldn't have pictured that shot any better in my head. That was exactly the shot I wanted to play. Go on. Literally, not even threatening the hole today. Okay, so far, I'm level par with five holes left to go. So, as long as I stay steady, break 75 is definitely on. So let's try and, let's try and go that one little step further. Let's see if we can get under par. 
Okay, I've done it once at Mir in this series so far. Let's see if we can do it again. Now we're on the 14th hole, it's from my favorite hole in the whole of the golf course, par four. Beautifully framed, little dog leg to the right, absolutely stunning. So let's kick off these last five holes. Let's see if we make a little bit of a charge to finish under par, eh? <laughs> I may just have jinxed myself, <laughs> put it in the trees. <laughs> Follow me. Allow me to show you where that ended up. So what I thought I'd do is play it back from a tree, back into the, uh, out of the trees, <laughs> via a tree. A slight misjudge with that third shot. <laughs> Let that be a little lesson. Beautiful hole, probably my favourite hole in the golf course. And I got, I got a bit cocky, thinking I was going to go under par. I was there cruising at level par, thinking, well, come on, Rick, let's push it. Bang. Double bogey. Thanks for coming. So as long as I don't have an absolute card wrecker with two holes left to go. Break 75 should be on. I'm two over with two left to go. Par four this way, par four this way to finish. This is this is another stunning hole, isn't it, Anna? How nice is this? Now what would really make this video though, I went birdie birdie finish. That's what you want to see, right? Or hook it into the trees. <laughs> Super. I'm going to play low. I'm going to bump it up there with like a little nine iron. Just try and skip it under that branch. Get it running. Get it on the green. <laughs> Just zoom in. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing, right? I'd love to say to you. That's the shot I meant to do. It went absolutely not to plan. The ball came out outrageously higher, missed all the trees. I'm on the green, putting for birdie. Maybe I should have just held my finish and just said I meant to do that. That was ridiculous. So as we wander back to the final tee, the 18th, I've loved today. Brilliant. This weather wasn't expected. It's supposed to rain. We've got lucky. The golf course is spectacular. Brilliant. One of my favourites. The golf's been okay. Hit and miss. <laughs> you, considering you've played off the back tees today, which you wouldn't normally do, but because you were making the video you did, you've drove it unbelievable Thank today. Thank you. Like, so straight. I actually, yeah, I have hit most fairways, haven't I? But then... You've hit most fairways. But then can't hold a putt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Episode 7.